Hey guys, it's me Hasnan from Upfront Marketers. So in this training video, I'm going to teach you how you can go ahead and sell consultancy services. Now this is a big question I get asked every single day and this is actually a tricky one because consultancy services and being a consultant to someone, it is a higher ticket thing. Okay, you're going to charge more than thousand bucks ranging from 5,000 to 10,000 and these kind of sales, you cannot do these kind of sales over an article or on a single video. You have to follow a process and I have created one for you. So don't worry, stick with me and see what I have for you guys. So the first thing, here is the unhappy customer. He is not your customer actually, okay? Now the first thing you want him to do is that he will go ahead and you want him to buy an initial product with a low cost. Let's say somewhere between 20 to 49 bucks, maybe 60 or 70, not more than that need to have an initial sale i mean to make it easy behind every higher ticket sale there is a low ticket sale so what you want to do is that you're going to promote this initial low cost product simply through an opt-in now what you're going to do you're going to get the email of the person and then he's going to be sent to a video page on the video page you will be selling him this initial low cost product okay and then once he has bought it he will be sent to another funnel which will keep on promoting this second thing. Now what really is the second thing? This is going to be a course. Now why am I taking it from some digital product to a course and then to the third thing, which is a webinar actually. Now why do I want to take it from a digital product then to courses and then to webinar? And then I'm actually you will be using webinar to sell the high ticket consulting. Because these kind of things, you cannot do it over a video. You need to interact with the audience. You need to interact with the clients to make these kind of sales. So what you're going to do is that with the first digital sale, they're going to go into a second funnel, which is going to take them into a funnel of courses. You're going to sell them your courses. Now this can range around from $120 to $50. Okay, 350 450 but not more than $500. You need to keep it less to make the customer ready for the high ticket sale. Now the reason I'm telling you to sell a course in the first upsell or the second sale actually is because when they've actually bought the digital product, they now know that, okay, you're having the knowledge. But through the courses or through the course that you're offering them, you can actually give them experience that what it's like when you are teaching them, when you're teaching them step by step. You want to give them that experience. Once they have that experience and once they know that, okay, you are the one who can help them solve their problem, you're done. The next time you send them an email and tell them, that, okay, we're hosting a webinar and the webinar, you sell them your personal consulting, they are in, they're going to buy from you. This is the most important step. You need to do the courses in the second stage because when you're doing courses, you are interacting with them, you're actually teaching them. So they're actually getting experience that, okay, this person is actually teaching me. I am getting him. And he, if this guy is consulting me, I can touch the sky, okay? It's as simple as that. So what are the steps to it? The first thing, opt-in. The customer comes, he opt-ins, he gives you their email, and then he is redirected to a page where you pitch him with a video and you do the first sell, the low cost one. And then what happens is that the moment he buys it, now I'll show you how you can put the condition over there in click funnels and the sales funnel you will be making that if he purchases, he'll be sent to another funnel where he'll be warmed up for the second sell. And then when he purchases the second cell, he'll be sent to another funnel where we'll be warmed up for the third cell. So this is going to happen this way and I'll show you how. So the first cell, then the follow-up sequence, then create a membership sales sequence, membership sales funnel, follow-up sequence, and then a final webinar sale. Now let's just hop over to click funnels and see what I have for you guys. So this is the first funnel or the first PI named it where you're going to redirect them. So the very first thing, the squeeze page, they're going to go there, they're going to give you their email, okay? The next thing, the moment they give you their email, they're going to be redirected to the sales page. Now, here is the sales page, and here we here is the squeeze page actually. Now, you can edit it as by your need, the way you want, it's all up to you, okay? Now, they come here, they type in their full name, they type in the best email address, they go, okay, take me to the video now. Let's say you're offering a free teaching video, okay? Now when he comes here, how one made over 10k in profits with just, just within three days, okay? Now he comes here, he watches all this video. This video, you sell them, this, okay, this is my digital ebook and it costs around 50 bucks, go ahead and buy it, okay? Now what happens is that this person goes to the order form and he orders that thing to you. 
now here is order form and the order confirmation that it loads so that i can show you that how it looks like now in click funnels it's pretty easy to make one i mean i'll show you how go to click funnels go to build funnel create a new funnel you're going to sell your product okay sales funnel that's it they will automatically make all these pages for you. You just have to choose a template. The email landing page, sales page, order confirmation, the thank you download page. You don't, you don't want to have this one, okay? You don't want to have the thank you page because you're already having the order confirmation page. That is how I made this one, okay? The moment they go to the order confirmation, now here is where we're going to put in, okay, let's hop back and make it simple. Now this is the order page. They come here, they put in their name, their billing address, everything ready to do the checkout or you can put in the picture of your ebook the name of the ebook and then somewhere comes here he puts in the credit card details like anything like no land snap okay fuck it so they come here they put in the credit card details and they buy from you okay the moment they buy they're going to be redirected to the order confirmation page guys listen to me you have tons of templates to choose from you can edit every single thing in this page the way you want it to be okay so there is no hard and fast rule that you need to have it like this it's up to you you can do whatever the hell you want okay now when they come to this order confirmation page you want them to add them to a new funnel a email sequence now now here is where the fun part is before sending them to the second buyer you need to have a cool down period of 5 to 10 days and in that 5 to 10 days you're going to send them emails repeatedly and in those emails you're actually going to warm them up for the second product okay it's as simple as that now when they reach the order confirmation page you're going to automation and I'll show you it's pretty easy add new action what are we going to name it we're going to name it sent to membership okay condition when they purchase it if an inter uh, click for internals, internal and these are the list you can make in click funnels it's pretty easy to do one I actually have a video a full text video on how you can go ahead and make a sales in click funnels I'll put the link in the description below as well as I have done another video on how you can set up the email funnel in get response and link it with click funnels and I'll also put the link in the description below okay so the moment the person purchases according to this whatever I'm setting up is going to be added add to list to a list that you have already made in click funnels okay create funnel action and you're good to go now what happens next is that in the next five to ten days you're going to send them emails based on value and you're going to warm them up for the second product the courses okay so it can be something like that. okay I'm going to teach you myself okay provide them value first in the five emails provide them value and six and seven emails start to warming them up for the next cell so what you want to do is that in the last email of the sequence before the second product you are going to tell them that okay here's a link to a video I just uploaded go ahead and watch it it's going to show you how you you can actually go ahead and I'll teach you how you can go ahead and do everything step by step and I'll teach you everything okay now the person what he does is that he goes to the sales page again he watches the video and then he's redirected to the order page he orders it and again when he comes to the order confirmation page which means he have purchased you have to go to automation and over there you will add him to another list and that list will have a full email sequence for the third thing the webinar okay now now do you realize how it works the first cell email sequence second cell email sequence the third cell that is how it works so why the hell is it okay where is it so again you'll do the same thing you'll go to add new action it's going crazy okay you'll go to add to action and you'll do the same thing I did earlier okay once you're done with it now here you want to do another thing okay there are two ways to do it if you are using the click funnels own email autoresponder you can just go ahead and you can add new email and in this email what you want to do is that you want to simply grab this link I'll show you which link I'm talking about the membership area now here's a secret sign up URL you want the person who whosoever is buying from you you want him to have, have a sign up area otherwise he's never going to get assessed the membership area so let me show you how the membership area actually looks like now here it is 
there are tons of templates to choose from you can make it the way you want it to be section lesson whatever you want it to be okay and okay so what do you want to do what you want to do is that you want to grab this link actually I have this opened up in a separate browser okay so we have it in this is actually the secret sign up URL the people will see when they go to that URL they'll have the ability to go ahead and you know make their own account now once they're done with it what you want to do is that you want to copy it go to order confirmation now like I was telling you there are two ways to do it if you have integrated ClickFunnels and if you're using ClickFunnels on autoresponder you can simply go ahead and okay this is going crazy and you can add a new email and then this email what you want to do is that you want to type the form name subject send only and the condition you want to do is purchase now whenever someone purchases you want to send them an email that okay thank you for purchasing and now you can go ahead and sign up make your account on this URL okay, this is one way to do it the second way is if you're reading get response or any other third party email autoresponder you can add a new action and you're going to do it the same way the way you were doing earlier on but now what you want to do is that in your email funnel the the first email you're assigning over there is that you want to tell them to, okay you can go ahead and make your account over here okay this is the sign up URL and that's it thank you for purchasing and then you will continue with the second third and fourth emails that will warm it up for the third product which is actually the webinar now let's continue to the third thing which is the product three the webinar now again you did the same thing you went through a proper email sequence and the third thing which is a webinar in this webinar you'll be selling them something okay what you want to do is that when you send them to a webinar this is the webinar registration page okay the webinar countdown you want to have a countdown to countdown of about let's say five to ten minutes you want them to wait this further qualifies them because if they are willing to wait five to ten minutes they're going to pay attention to you in the webinar and they can actually they will be actually buying from you okay it's as simple as that it's very simple you see the way i make it very simple you have to make it simple okay so they go to this page they register for it they go through the countdown they go to the webinar broadcast room you don't want to have this one which uh, no we don't want to have this one and the reason I'm removing it because I don't want any of you go to go live okay you can have the pre-recorded video and you can simply send them to this webinar replay room and you can edit it in a way that makes it look that okay it's actually streaming right now it's so simple I mean in this area it's so simple okay now once you're done I'll show you you have tons of templates to choose from this is all the templates that you can choose you can edit them the way you want it to be and once you're done with it the next step and this is the important step name of the funnel I wanted to make the order page now see over here they don't have the order page included in the webinar funnel so we want to go ahead and want to make one ourselves order page go to sales order form are you guys seeing how simple is this Show me a one below the video if you think it's very simple. If you have any questions, do ask me. Okay, so we are over here at the order forms. We'll choose a simpler one. Which one should we choose? This one was one I chose earlier, and let's choose this one. Can you guys see how simple is this? I mean, click funnels. Okay, so let's go back. Now you want to put the order page over here. Now, the moment they're done watching the webinar, they'll be redirected to the order page where they'll be able to purchase your consultancy you can price it between a thousand bucks to ten thousand no listen to me it all depends upon the industry you're consulting in and how much your experience is now if you're just a newbie you just cannot go ahead and charge them five thousand to ten thousand dollars for your services let's be realistic at this point of time you have to be realistic and provide value to your clients you want to make long-term clients you don't want people to pay you money and then later call you a jerk and throw your consultancy away okay you need to make long-term clients once you're done with it you need to have the order page again the order confirmation page and you're done with it now what is the theory why did i choose all of this why did you the initial product first upsell medium cost and the higher ticket set higher ticket selling on the web it cannot be done without a proper sales funnel if you're doing it over the call you have the luck you can do it if you're having the right tonality i mean jordan belfort he's a guru he taught me i i've, I've been through his courses having the right tonality and all that stuff it works in calls but when it comes to internet marketing you need to have a proper sales funnel 
the way I'm teaching you, it is actually a proper sales funnel. The initial product, an email sequence, five to ten emails, and then the second product. Now you guys can notice the pattern. The prices are increasing because once a person buys from you, he's more likely to to buy from you the second time. This is the simple concept. Again, the first product, email sequence, the second product, email sequence, and the third product. You're done. You're done at this point. Okay, we're done with the steps. That's all for now. And how to sell consultancy services, sell good services, be genuine, don't be fake, don't sell shit to people, sell good information, provide value to people, build your businesses, and have a nice day. And if you like this video, like, comment, and share this video. Thank you for watching. It's me, Hasnan. Over and out.